Okay, a proton is moving with velocity 3 exponent 5 meter per second vertically across a magnetic field 0 0.02 Tesla. Okay, we given the mass of proton uh, and charge of proton. Actually, if not given also, you can find this value, mass of proton and charge of proton in the list of constant. Yeah, in the list of constant also provided mass of proton mass. You see, proton mass, you can use this value. It's a bit different also, yeah, 1.672. This one is 1.67, yeah. Uh, yeah. Proton mass given, electron charge, e the proton charge is the same as electron charge, 1.6 exponent negative 19 coulomb. Okay, you can find these two values in the list of constant. But if the question gives you, you just use the, the value given in the questions, okay? Uh, to, to, so that align with the answer in the question, okay? Use the value given in the question. If not, just find in the list of constant. Okay, so now find the kinetic energy of the proton. It's very simple. Just, um, okay, question A, want to find kinetic energy. It's just half mv square. Uh, just half mv square. Okay, so, um, okay, uh, the question, the proton, okay, proton is a positive charge. Proton, one pro, uh, the charge of the proton, is the same as uh, charge of the proton is the same as charge of one electron lah. okay this velocity this is the magnetic field unit tesla yeah? okay so uh, okay this is the mass of proton because we are using proton yeah okay so let's uh, calculate and see half mass of proton given is 1.67 exponent negative 27 kilogram and velocity is uh, 3 exponent, 3 exponent 5, okay, uh, and then, uh, right, so let's calculate, yeah, let's calculate uh, 1.67 exponent, negative 27, and multiply by um, 3 exponent 5, square, and then multiply uh, half. So the answer is uh, seven point five one five seven point five one five exponent negative seventeen joule. Ah, uh, that's the answer. Is that correct? Uh, seven point five two exponent negative seventeen joule. That's correct. So how about B? Yeah, what's the magnetic force on the proton? So question B. So I'll ask about magnetic force. Ah. Uh? Force is uh, Fb lah. Uh, Fb ya. Yeah. Just now kinetic energy uh, is K lah. Yeah. Kinetic energy. So magnetic force. Yeah. Remember the force is not the field lah. It's not magnetic field. If uh, if the question asks about magnetic field, uh, then it is uh, B ya. Yeah. Then it is B. Uh, then it is B. If magnetic field. If magnetic field is B. Uh, uh, now it's about force. Force is F. Okay, F. So, uh, okay, what is the force on a proton? Okay, proton, proton is a charge, yeah? So, moving charge. So, magnetic force on a moving charge. Uh, magnetic force on a moving charge is, uh, you know, QV cross B. Or B, B Q V sin theta, yeah. Uh, so the formula is Q V. Uh, no, no. Uh, v cross B. It's always V cross B, yeah. It's between always between V and B. Always between velocity and magnetic field, yeah. Always between velocity and magnetic field. B uh, Q V B, yeah. So it's B Q V sin theta, okay. So theta is the angle between these two lah. Uh, angle between uh, velocity and magnetic field. Okay. So now uh, he says that uh, vertically. Okay. Uh, what is theta? What is theta for this case? You see the question. He say it's moving with velocity vertically. Ah, the word vertically here. Vertically across the magnetic field. So uh, vertically, this this word is important. Vertically. 
So uh, that means velocity and magnetic field vertically across the magnetic field. So I can say that um, like let's say I have a magnetic field. Let's say I have magnetic field in this direction. Uh, I have magnetic field in this direction. Uh, yeah. So vertically, that means uh, let's say vertically across magnetic field. That means let's say magnetic field is to the is horizontal. Let's say magnetic field is horizontal. So my velocity is vertical. Huh? Vertical. Uh, this is my velocity. Uh, this is my velocity. So it's 90 degree. Lah. 90 degree between uh, 90 degree between velocity and magnetic field. So, so I can say that uh, this is uh, BQV sine 90. Uh, sine 90. Okay. So we know that sine 90 is always equal to 1. Right. So okay. Now let's calculate the B magnetic field is uh, 0 0.02. 0 0.02 uh, the charge proton is the same as electron charge yeah? one proton is the same as one electron charge so uh, it's 1.6 you can find this uh, yeah? charge of proton is the same you see it's the same as electron charge same as proton charge you see that uh, okay same as electron charge same as proton charge okay so calculate uh, negative 19 and then velocity is uh, 3 exponent 5 3 exponent 5 um, sine 90 sine 90 is 1 okay so calculate exponent negative 19 multiply 3 exponent 5 okay so the answer is uh, 9.6 exponent negative 16 okay negative 16 uh, Newton, uh, that's the answer, yeah, 9.6 exponent, negative 16 Newton. Okay, that's, uh, that's answer. Okay, is that correct? Uh, okay, that's correct, 9.6 exponent, negative 16 Newton, that's correct. Okay. Now, what is the radius of the circular path? What is the radius? He asked for radius of the, you know, of the circular path. Of the proton, so what I can say is, uh, I can say is like something like this. Question C, uh, it's like let's say let's say the magnetic field is going into the page. Yeah, magnetic field is going into the page, and you know the uh, the proton, the proton is uh, the proton is let's say uh, just now this. Magnetic field going into the page, the proton is perpendicular, it's moving perpendicular to the field. So I can say it's like moving in this direction. Uh, in this direction, velocity, the velocity direction. Okay. Um, okay, maybe I should I can draw it. Um, uh, use my right hand, uh, no, uh, my right hand rule. Okay, my right hand rule. Uh, this one. Okay, this uh, direction I don't want to emphasize so much yet uh, because I will show this direction in the later later videos. Okay, later videos. So basically, I use this hand right hand rule. The 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 fingers is the velocity. The palm the palm is the magnetic field. The thumb is the force. All right. For positive charge, I follow the thumb. For negative charge, is opposite the thumb. Okay, for the force. So okay, I use this hand I, and I got the now I use my hand, I don't want to show you how how I got the force direction. I will show you in the later videos. Okay. So um V cr V cross B, yeah, B. So force is going upwards. Uh force is going upward, velocity there, that direction, magnetic field go into the page. I use my right hand. Uh my thumb is going up. My thumb is going up. Uh, that's my that's my magnetic force. That's my magnetic force. All right. So when uh, the when the force is perpendicular to the when the force is perpendicular to the velocity, so it becomes the centripetal force. Do you know that? Become the centripetal force. So it makes a circle. Uh, it makes a circle. Okay. This is the center of the circle. Okay. 
Uh, so this this uh, this will make a circle. So it will have radius. Okay, it will have radius of circle. Yeah, radius of the circle. Okay. So I want to find the radius here. So here this question is asking about radius. So okay. So I can say that uh, I, this is already covered in the notes. Yeah. Uh, I already explained about this. Uh, you know. Uh, in my lecture video, okay, refer to my lecture video, the classroom teaching one. I did uh, teach about this one. Okay, so okay, because the force, the magnetic force is perpendicular to velocity, so this magnetic force becomes the centripetal force. So I can use that formula, you know, uh, magnetic force equal to centripetal force, um, and then we have the, you know, BQV sine theta equal to the formula for centripetal force is mv squared over r over radius. Okay, uh, and then um, velocity, velocity can okay, cancel. So, okay, so we have BQ. This is sine 90 lah. Uh, sine 90 because uh, why 90? Because velocity and magnetic field they are perpendicular lah. Uh, they are perpendicular. Okay, I can say velocity is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So the theta is 90, yeah. Okay? It's, this velo theta, this theta is not between force and velocity, yeah. It's between the velocity and magnetic field. Magnetic field going, going into the page. You see that? Magnetic field going into the page. Going into the page. Uh, velocity going to the right. So they are perpendicular. Velocity and magnetic field, they are... Velocity and magnetic field, they are perpendicular. You see that? And if you go into the page, velocity go to the right. So they are perpendicular between velocity V and B. Between V and B, they are 90 degree. Okay. Uh, and uh, talking about this one, force and velocity also perpendicular. Uh, because force and velocity also perpendicular. So uh, that's why be, be, this force become a centripetal force. Okay. This uh, charge will move in a circle. It will move in a circle. Yeah, it move in a circle. Uh, for this case, this is uh, anti-clockwise. You see that? Move in as anti-clockwise. Okay, so uh, okay, I already explained all this in the lecture video. So this, this is uh, sine 90 equal to 1. So here you still have mv over r radius. So okay, I want to find what? I want to find radius, isn't it? So I want to find radius. So radius is mv over bq. Okay, so uh, this is the this will become the mass of proton mass of proton velocity over magnetic field this is a charge of the proton uh, charge of proton is a charge of electron okay charge of the the charge of the proton is the same as charge of one electron okay so just substitute the mass all this value I will get the radius of the circle Mass of proton 1.67 negative 27. 1.67 negative 27. And the velocity is uh, 3 exponent 5. 3 exponent 5. And magnetic field. What is the magnetic field? Magnetic field is uh, 0 0.02. Okay, 0 0.02. And then the charge of the Proton is the same as charge of electron, which is 1.6 negative 19. 1.6 negative 19. Okay, so I got the radius. I will get the radius of the circle it makes. Um, okay. Then divide some more. Okay, so the answer is... Uh, yeah, 0 0.1565, uh, 157, 0 0.157 meter. That's the answer. Okay, is that the answer? Uh, yeah, 0 0.16, yeah, that's correct. Okay, 0 0.16 meter or 0 0.157 meter, that's correct, yeah. So that's all for these questions. I hope you understand and uh, that's all. Bye.